Hello friends, Sylvia Fay here. I recently did a video called Kaiden Song. Well, I named it Kaiden Song. It's actually a bunch of my screenshots and poses in the screenshots put together in a tribute to Kaiden, who is a standalone follower by Liv Templeton. And I, I, you know, the only person that commented asked how I did it. So I figured I'd put together a little tutorial for you guys. Now, I'm going to use Inigo in this. He is also a standalone follower by Smart Blue Cat. And he is fabulous. Uh, he doesn't usually come with the stripes on his fur. That is actually a add-on or a texture that I have but it doesn't look bad on him so I am actually I am in the themes guild and I'm going to be using Mercer for this thing because a lot of you like or hate him either way he's going in the pose now, I have an unconventional way of making him follow you because he doesn't traditionally. And I know there are a lot of mods out there where you can make any NPC follow you. Well, this is sort of one of them. And the mod is called Follow Me for Sex. You don't have to have sex with them to make them follow you. Oh my gosh, right? Okay. So that's what I'm going to do. to do than disturb me. Seriously, the people that like okay. That's a diff that's a different video. Follow me for sex, and he will. We're going to be doing this right here. Now, I went ahead. And went through all my poses and wrote down a couple of them that I wanted to use beforehand. That way I can do this a little bit faster. I will be putting all the poses, the poser mods, the links to them, and the console commands that I use. Because I will be using console commands. I'll put all of that in the description. Poser, I am going to use as Poser hotkeys. And the only hotkeys that I really use are home and end. Because it's just faster that way. You can use these to kind of cycle through the poses until you get to the right one. But I recommend getting the images of the poses. That way you can just go through, write down which ones you want to put together and so on and so forth. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, what I'm going to do is Mercer's pose first. Now I have a couple of different posers. Halos, Pin Up, Goma Paro Paro. I can't remember which one's that one. And Arsenic. I use Halos and arsenic and goma paro paro more than I do any one any of the other ones. But for this one we're using mostly goma paro. So choose that. Number two, second folder or second set. And he's going to be 67. Now you have to be looking at him for this to work. Otherwise, it will make you pose. So, look at him, push the home key on your keypad, and voila. Now, he's not in the right place. I don't want him there. So, what you do, bring up console commands, click on him, make sure he is selected. 
And the way you do that is it will tell his name up here and his ID and all of that crap. Oh, he's a Breton. I didn't know that. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> then TC, you will want to be in third person for this. Because if you're in first person, you'll move around and so will he, but you won't be able to see where the NPC is going. With third person, you will actually... It's like you're actually the NPC you're trying to move. Now, when I move him, my PC moves. Which is fine, because we're in the cistern. You know, she's not going to go very far. She's not going to get hurt. It is trouble when you're on the side of a cliff. I've died because of that. So, I want him, let's say, right about here. And I want him to stay there. Now, I don't like his facial expression. So, I have, I actually had to download this. It's MFG something or other. Like I said, I'll put the links for all this stuff in the description. You go MFG expression. Now, I want him to be maybe a little surprised. And surprise is number four. I also have this on my phone. I'll put the description or the link to the expressions and everything. And then 90, which is the extremity that I want his expression. See? Surprise! Okay. Now. I want his mouth different. So let's do this about 35. And then his eyes, I want them closed. And that would be blank, left and right. You will have to do both of them. Let's say I want his eyebrows down a little bit. Brows down, do about 45. You know, just play around with it. See what you like best. Okay, that works for me. And when you're done fixing him however you want him, TAI to make sure he doesn't move from that spot. Because I had a problem when I was posing with Inigo where I get too close and then he'd move away. So you want to do TAI to make sure they don't move away in case you want to put your NPCs really close together. Now TC to get back to you. And there he is. I'll pose and ready to go. Now, Inigo is going to be a part of the second bit. So, just go to Poser Hotkeys. And luckily, his is one up. Now, I could have... Instead of going all the way through it and everything... I could have just looked at Inigo, pushed home, and then pushed my left arrow key, but I didn't because I didn't want to, and I honestly forgot. So now I selected Inigo, make sure he's selected, TC because I want to move him because he's not in the right spot.
So I put him, yeah, let's put him right about here. That's about right. Now, once again, I don't like his expression. It's too blasé. I know, big word. So, expression. Now, I want him to be angry. Angry is zero. Yeah, let's put it at about 85. So he's angry. And I want him to bare his teeth a little bit. Like that. And then TAI, because I don't want him to move. And then TC back to me. All right. Now it looks like Inigo kicked Mercer in the face, which is fabulous. You don't have to make them follow you. It's easy if you want them to move locations. Like if I wanted Inigo to, I don't know, kick Mercer in the ragged flag. And I think Mercer just needs kicked is what it is. You can go to one of these other guys. Hey, let's talk a second. Okay. No, I'm waking you up. Okay. Now. I woke him up. But I'm not going to tell him to follow me. Because since he's in the same general area, I don't have to make him follow me. All I have to do, choose a pose, look at him, and then push home. Voila! Now, you're going to be doing the same thing that you did with Mercer and Inigo. Click on him, TC. And move him around. Always make sure you're in third person because it's annoying when you're not. Okay. Now I want his expression to be a little... Surprised, but not really surprised. Surprise is four. Yeah, put him at about forty-five. Okay. TAI, because that's where I want him to be. TC, back to me. Alright. Let's see who else is around here. Rune, wake up. Got a minute? Wanted to say something. I feel so bad for Rune. Okay, now I put him in a pose automatically to keep him from going back to his bed. Okay, I changed the pose, but it didn't change him, but that's okay. You push the home key again, and it changes him. Now bring up console commands. TC. Make him go... Eh, let's say about right... Oh, nope. No, no, no. God. Damn it, Rune. Okay, see, that's annoying. But that's okay. 
because I still have the pose chosen. Just push home. Okay. Or not. Alright, you have to go back to yourself and then push home. And then it's him. Make sure you don't fall off of anything this time. Oh, see, you almost made him do it again. Okay. Now, I want to change his expression. MFG. Let's do... Puzzle. Because of the way he's posed. So that's number three. Do about 65. Okay. Now let's say I want to give him a little more to his expression. Phoneme, or whatever, is his mouth. And we're going with dist. Okay, now if you get tired of it going out like that, just toggle back to you. And then you can stand here and look at them while changing their expressions and shit. So let's do this. Let's do about that. There you go. Confused puzzle expression. Sort of. Eh, I don't like how low his brow is, so I'm going to change that. A little bit higher. And then TAI, because I don't want him to move. Like that. Fabulous. Now, you can put as many as you want around here. For this, I'm just going to use these couple of guys. They're actually my favorite. And Thren. Where's Thren? Oh well. So, in order to pose yourself, you just have to not be looking at anyone else. You have to have them not like that, okay? Now, I chose my pose to be... Goma1272. Now... In the poser hotkeys, it only goes to six. So, Goma gives you these rings all the way up to 12. You pick which one? Go to select. Always make sure it says select. 
I have 12. Seventy-two, which will be right about eight or nine. Okay. Now I'm not posed. That's when I gotta go to Goma Paro. Play twelve. Oh my gosh, that's not the right one. <laughs> This one is actually coupled with a different pose. <coughs> so, let me pick a different one. Back to select. Say I want this one. So now you know how to use the posers, or at least I hope you would. And I will show you how to take a screenshot. Now, if you want to take a screenshot, first off, I suggest using this console command. I always have it at 6. Some people have it at 5. It controls how fast your free fly camera moves. TFC is your free fly camera. Now, if you don't want anything in the scene to move at all, put a one behind it. Me, I couldn't care less. Like that. And then I can fly up. <coughs> Voila. Inigo hitting Mercer. Now I'm going to wait for them to finish moving around. So... Let's see, if I want to go up... Like that. Now, the way I went up, because I'm using the extra box controller, I use the right trigger. To go down is the left trigger. I don't know about PlayStation. So this looks fabulous. I like the way this is set up right here like that. 
So in order to get rid of this and all of this over here, I'm going to use the toggle menu, which gets rid of it. Now, if you exit out of the console, take your screenshot first, you can move around without the menu thing. So, let's say you're going to do a video. You know, you can be like, okay, cool. Whoa. You know, do your video. Like that. Now, I like the way I set up Rune's face. So you probably- I know you can't see it, but there. That's a fabulous thing. Now, bring up console commands, TM again, and you'll bring- bring everything else back. TC? Oh shit. TC. TFC? TFC. And that'll bring you back to yourself. Put end on your keyboard. And then just release them. TAI. End. Oh. Before he goes, I'm going to show you how to make his expression go back to normal. TFG, reset. Boom. Yep, there you go. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how I get my poses. So you wanted to know? Now you know. And like I said, I will put all of these in the description That way, you can have fun with it. This better be important. I'm quite busy. Um, make him go away. We're done now. So, there's some unconventional ways. I know this is a really long video for a tutorial. But... That is how I set up my poses and my screenshots. And that's probably how a lot of people do it. It takes a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of, you know, just tediousness is what it is to get the perfect everything. So I hope you enjoy. If you have any questions or comments or whatever, please feel free to leave them. And I will try to respond as quickly as possible. If there's enough questions about certain things, I will probably make another video for you. Because why the hell not? I ain't got nothing better else to do. So, hope you enjoy. Sylvia Faye, 